since there's been very little increase in the number of cadaver organs that are available in the United States, and because of the very long waiting times that kidney transplant recipients have been experiencing, um, these things have really forced us to think of new and innovative ways to try to get our transplant, to get our transplant patients transplanted. Um, and one of those um, new innovations has been the incorporation of what we call kidney chains or live donor kidney chains or kidney swaps. Uh, this is a process by which um, we can enable a successful live kidney transplant to occur where in the past um, that opportunity may not have existed. And in brief, the way it works is, is that we find that sometimes we have patients that come to our center that have a live donor, but in the testing process, we find that that donor is not compatible with the recipient that they would like to donate to. So the availability of participating in a kidney chain potentially allows them to achieve the same result, which would be to get their loved one transplanted. The way that that would work is that they would enter a database, both the donor and the recipient would enter a database in which there are many other patients included in a similar situation as to themselves. And through a process of matching that the computer would do, uh, we can find another pair in which um, that person's donor would be able to donate to the first recipient, and the first recipient's uh, donor would be able to donate to the second recipient. And then, if you can imagine multiplying this several times over in a chain, it allows sometimes for eight, nine, eleven successful transplants all to occur in the same 24-hour period. Um, we've partnered with several centers across the nation and our longest chain has been 11 transplants, all done in a single 24-hour period. Um, having been involved in it, I can tell you it's an amazing day. It's a win-win situation for everyone involved and it leaves a incredible feeling of satisfaction because if you can, again, just imagine on a single day there's 11 patients' lives saved all out of the goodness of the heart of these donors that have had the ability to look really beyond themselves and look towards trying to save someone else.